what is prevailing wind? Have you ever wondered why the wind in your area seems to blow from the same direction most of the time? This phenomenon is known as prevailing wind, and it's an important part of understanding our weather patterns. Prevailing wind is the direction in which the wind normally blows in a particular geographic area. It's not about the wind that changes direction with storms or other short-term weather events, but rather the consistent direction of airflow over a region. One of the main factors that cause prevailing winds is the uneven heating of the Earth by the sun. The sun's rays hit the Earth differently at various latitudes, creating temperature differences that drive air movement. In low latitudes, near the equator, the winds are generally easterly, meaning they blow from the east. This is because the warm air rises near the equator and cooler air moves in to replace it, creating a circulation pattern. In mid-latitudes, between 35 and 65 degrees latitude, the prevailing winds are westerly. These are known as the westerlies or prevailing westerlies. They blow from the west to the east and are influenced by the Coriolis effect, which is the deflection of moving objects on Earth due to the planet's rotation. In the northern hemisphere, these winds come from the southwest, while in the southern hemisphere, they come from the northwest. The strength of these westerlies can vary with the seasons. They are strongest in winter when the pressure over the poles is lower and weakest in summer when the pressure over the poles is higher. Local terrain also plays a significant role in shaping prevailing winds. In areas with mountains and valleys, the wind patterns can be quite complex. As air flows over hills and down into valleys, it can create strong updrafts, downdrafts, and eddies. This can lead to unpredictable flow patterns and turbulence. For example, if there is a pass in a mountain range, winds can rush through it with considerable speed due to the Bernoulli principle, which describes how the speed of a fluid increases as its pressure decreases. Additionally, the sea breeze land breeze cycle can influence prevailing winds in coastal areas. During the day, the land heats up faster than the sea, causing air to rise over the land and pull in cooler air from the sea. At night, the process reverses, with the land cooling faster than the sea. In summary, prevailing winds are the result of a combination of global atmospheric patterns, the Coriolis effect, and local terrain features. Understanding these winds helps us predict weather patterns and appreciate the dynamic nature of our atmosphere.